Um, welcome once again. I am your teacher, Abdul Karim Bambua. Um, welcome to the online teaching show. This is what little Ecom. I may humbly welcome my able parents or my darling parents and loving people to the online teaching show. Um, of course, don't forget. Um, today mark the title of September 2020 and um, we have English Comprehension for Grade 4 English Comprehension for Grade 4 Mind you, this is a continuation from our previous lesson And of course, today we are going to look at what? Sentence Building Sentence Building And um, you can turn so page 10 and we have to stop at what page 13 okay now this is the book thank you and let us just see other sentence building other sentence building here we say what expressing obligation expressing obligation what do you understand about obligation Obligation is something that you ought to do. It's something that you cannot go without. As a people living with your parents, each and every blessed day when you got up, you have to greet them. And before greeting them, you should what? Observe a personal hygiene by washing your face, washing your mouth, and say I to them. Okay, that is called what? Obligation. Your obligation as well, or also, is to what? Is to do domestic work whenever you are at home with them. Your obligation as a people when you come to school, you should pay attention and listen attentively to the teacher. That could be your obligation. Thank you. Um, let us just look at this. Brief conversation Moses and Yaku. Moses and Yaku. Moses is the one that is talking. Yaku, you must pay my money tomorrow. You must pay my money tomorrow. Yaku, Moses, you are joking. I have to pay, but you see. I did not promise to pay tomorrow. Moses, in that case, you have to pay something extra. Yakul, I see. I can see what you are driving at. Now let's make 10 sentences from the table below. But here, I'm going to give you what? Two sentences. You will do the rest, the remaining. Aziz and Tola must buy the books. Aziz and Tola must buy the books. Two, Kareem and girls. Kareem and the girls. Okay? Sorry, yeah, there is what an absent. Something supposed to be here. Missing, okay? Kareem and the girl. Must phone my father. Kareem and the girls must phone my father. Okay? Kareem and the girl must phone my father. Okay? You have to do what? The remaining. We go to three. Make ten questions from this table. Asking question. Must I force you to do your assignments? Must I force you? So do your assignments still on the page 10. You can do the rest. Now read these sentences. May I go with you? Yes, you may. Do you have to buy the car? Yes, I have to. Must I kill the goats? No, you needn't. Must I force you to do your work? No, you mustn't. Do I have to tell him the story? No, you don't have to. 
Turn to page 11. This is drama, class drama. When you are in class, you perform what? Drama, okay? In your, in your, uh, the square boys. In your, uh, the square boy, okay? How are? We say what? In your, uh, in your, uh, come and clear up the table. Where are you at? In Noah, stop calling me. I am busy. Stop calling me. I am busy. How are you? have started again. Why don't you ever want to help? In Noah, why don't you mind your business? Mother does not bother me as you do. How are you? Well, we all know that she pampers you because you are a boy. And Noah, I will tell my mother what you have just said. When she comes back and you will be in big trouble. Awa, I don't care. You must clear up your plates now or else. And Noah, I won't. Boys are not supposed to do shit jobs. Awa, I see now why you are so square. And Noah, how are you should be doing all the home and the housework. You are going to become a wife and a mother. Awa, and you are going to be a husband and a father. Remember these days. House elves are hard to get. You must learn to take care of yourself, you know. That is not my business. Oh yes, it is it is you naughty boy. It is you naughty boy. Now answer this question from woman five and from woman one to woman seven. From woman one to woman seven. Okay? Why did our say you have started again? Two, what did you think their mother will do to our to our when she gets back? Should boys help at home? A dear special job for girls. Do you agree that Noah's mother squares in? Apart from the children in the home, who else does work, does housework? What kind of a boy in Noah's say why you think so? Okay? Now, don't forget this is guiding or guided writing. And under guided writing, you are going to make use of words, some of words, the adjective or adverb. We have tall. So, given the comparative for tall, we have what? ER. Okay, we say what? Plus ER is equal to what? Taller. It becomes taller. We have small. Okay, what do we have there? Comparative. We say equal to what? Smaller. So now we pronounce it as what? Tall, taller. Small, Smaller. Do we understand? Okay. Tall, taller, small, smaller. We are not going toward the superlative. We will stop at what? The um, comparative form. Um, study the table below in page 13, which is the last one. All of these, you have to study this table and complete what? The table as your homework. Complete this thing. Now take a look. At this, we have it present tense singular, it plural, eating is what a continuous tense and ongoing that means somebody is eating. It is the past tense, eating is what the past participle form of what the verb. Okay, so far, so good. You can use some of these things, the verb, to complete this sentence below. So far, so good. I thank you all.